Hey guys, welcome back to another video of the Bronze League Challenge, trying to get up to plat. Um, this game is quite recent. This is from the weekend of around the 10th, 11th of August sort of time. Um, bring this video to you, we're against a guy called Archons Black. Um, I don't know what he's saying there in the chat. We're 23, 23 seconds into the game, we're going to get going. Um, current speed at time 2, this is ZV, uh, ZVP. Uh, top left corner, oh, at the moment I'm showing just the APM. At the moment, I'm a little bit ahead, which is all good. Um, we're playing Pro Arse, we're expecting a turtle, so we are going to drone up, just like Terran, to around 13, 14 drones before the pool goes down. Um, we're going to watch the game from a nice perspective. Um, I'm saying, um, a lot. We sent the Overlord down to scout. His probe it's just come into the base and has not seen a lot so now I'm concerned and this is a panic scout I've got going on here, this little dude but my overlord should have just seen his probe up there I think this is a panic scout, is it a panic scout? no this is the standard scout, here's the panic scout <laughs> here he is <laughs> haven't waypointed him yet okay we just scouted the base, that's probably why but we've basically realised he hasn't um, blocked himself in, so again, we are now scared. So the panic scouting has begun. We are now looking for a proxy pylon. Because we haven't seen his drone in quite a while. As you can see, guys, we haven't found a fucking pylon. And looking at his ATM is now, what, it went to zero just then. Bloody hell. But mine isn't that much better. And now we've stopped. The drone has stopped. This is bad. What's going on at the base? Let's have a quick look. Okay, we've got the pool down. We haven't got um, link speed yet. The shit, we've still got free on gas, which we don't need now. We've got 100 minerals. That is bad. Uh, the queen has got an inject ready. That should be done. We have bound the bound the queen down. We have now spotted a proxy pylon. <laughs> and a proxy gateways. Okay, guys, at this point in the game, um, I'm already thinking Zealot Rush. The, the clue is the zealot, and then we've got two gateways. And as you can see, I obviously couldn't see this during the game, but he's now pumping out um, a zealot while well, trying to chrono boost the zealot out. Um, I'm pretty sure now I've got a tiny lead in economy at the moment, even without looking at top right of the screen. Um, down at the bottom left, we have a zealot return to the base. I don't know why we didn't take our drone out, but GG. Uh, that drone should not be just sitting there. That should be going back to the base. There it goes. I hope it's going back to the base. Uh, we might check for a few ninja expands. No, no it doesn't. Okay guys, what are we doing now? Let's have a look. Let's go back to our player camera. What are we looking at? We are looking at the main base. We're moving our zerglings around. We're looking at the other set of zerglings. I think we're going to do some sort of like YOLO scout at the moment guys. I'm not quite sure what's going on. Um, like I said, I just prefer to watch my own replay in quite a while. Oh yeah, and we've confirmed that it is going to be mass sell it. And look at the map gateways, and we just yellowed him to the probe line. Not really too bothered about those units. And for some reason, we misclick and make a lot of spore crawlers. These were not meant to be spore crawlers, these were meant to be spines. But uh, for some reason, um, they, don't, they don't do too badly as blockers. Don't want to give any spoilers away there. Uh, we are watching the game at time 2 speed as well guys, if it does look a bit quick, you're wondering, my god, that guy's got a fast APM, do not be deceived, that is because it's at time 2 at the moment. Uh, again, let's look at the APM, well, I am caning him <laughs> with APM, but he is playing Protoss, which is easy mode. So what are we looking at now guys, we are looking at our spore crawler, thinking why the fuck have I built two spore crawlers, about three spore crawlers, and we've one to the back. Um, we are now upgrading. I think we're going roaches now. I think that's the plan. Yeah, we are going roaches. That's why we've got the upgrade on the Evo chain for missile attacks. Um, have we went layer yet? We have went layer. Oh, and that's only taken us 11 minutes, which is bad. We've got another spy now. What's going on, Dave? What are you looking at? We've got another spy. No, we're getting um, hydras out. That's weird. Oh, I think we're getting roach hydra. I think that's the plan. Uh, two queens going pro, we pulled the drone, just mass panic, mass chaos, look at the sellers die! These small crawlers have acted like amazing blockers for the queen because the zealots can't hit him on all sides. Um, that overlord just preparing to be our next scout. 
Um, again, we are quite concerned that there's a proxy pylon, so I think I said to scout off again to check for another pylon in a second. Oh, I think that's not doing this little circle and it's in the top left of the minimap at the moment. It's so interesting watching the replay again, you can actually notice what you've missed. Because there's stuff I don't notice because I spot like a massive army in a minute and I don't even realise it when I'm playing the game. But yeah, that zealot push is a bit pathetic. Um, now we're just using the burrow just to see what's coming out of the base. Getting injects done, that's quite bad, that creates up full energy. And we, oh, we did inject that one. And that's our roach off to scout for a proxy. Because we think he just wiped down a pylon, but if you watch that mini map in a second, you'll see like a little blob of red come up on it. I never actually noticed this when I was playing the game, but see any seconds now. And when I was playing the game, just didn't notice that at all because um, I just did a shift move down there, I just did an attack move. Uh, we are going to scout its base at this time and we're going to see, oh, well we didn't see it because we are now defending. Uh, currently building units. And he GG's guys. So yeah, we just defended uh, Cheesy Zealot Rush. And now we're going to move straight on to the next game, guys. Just stay right there, move on to the next okay, one. Okay, guys, as you can see from the loading screen, we are playing against the Gold League player. FYI, we are still bronze. So yeah, we hi, good luck, have fun. We're going to switch to my view again. Again, we're on the same map. This game was played uh, probably minutes after the um, last one. Again, same sort of thought process as Terran. They're probably going to turtle. Um, we'll move this up to times two to get the ball rolling. We'll send the overlord down to that bottom corner, just down here with the mouse hovering. Come on, come on, come on! Let's build it up a little bit. Okay, we sent our scout off. We're sending the overlords off. Okay, so now we scout. I've seen this drone coming. Now I'm quite concerned because there are no production buildings right here, and I've never seen the Terran do that since I've been playing. So now I do a whole, as you start to build now, sort of weird scout. And now I panicked and whacked the hatch down straight away thinking, I know something's up here. I know this scumbag Bronze League player has got something planned. And there's no seconds. And now I'm just thinking, what pro what sort of proxy is it? I'm thinking, it's going to be some sort of barracks, but I haven't even seen his, his um, what do you call it? Not the drone. The, um, the um, thingy that builds the buildings, what the fuck is it called? That thing. The SCV. That's the first time I've seen it, and now here come proxy barracks, bitches! Well, it's a new proxy bunker, but the, the barracks are also located um, not too far away, I believe, in this game. I think that's right, yeah. The drone does spot them right here. So we try and fight this off, but. Bad micro there with the things, not targeting that bunker. Queen goes down. I should be cancelling this hatch as well, guys. Like, this is how not to defend it, because I just lose like 300 minerals right there. It's just bad. So eventually, bunkers go down. Uh, okay, we can't really do much against this push. And now we are really far behind. And this is a difference between probably a Bronze League player and the Gold League. It's just, this is some shit that I wouldn't expect. And it happens, especially from Terran, they're normally so passive. But yeah guys, um, basically with GG once we realise how far behind we are, because at the moment we don't scout thoroughly enough, he's already on a free base, free bases, which is Ninja Expanded. Um, we don't, I don't find this out until about 15 minutes into the game, because I think he's only on one base. This is why the game counted goes for 22 minutes, as my scouting was crap. Um, but down here you'll see the command center, so I think he might be on two, and this is like an awful push to try and get in here, and I really needed um, Banelings. Because I know if I got in here, it's probably GG. I'm about to take out his mineral line, but what can you do? But yeah, guys, we um, eventually GG this game because we're so far behind. Like we've got 14 drones, he's probably in 20 something by now. Yeah, guys, uh, that was that game. 
uh, you do not need to see the rest, it's quite painful. But what I will show you guys is that we're currently ranked something in the Bronze League. Whoop whoop. Uh, this league's not very active, to be fair, guys, but it's nice to be in seventh place in the Bronze League and we've only played a few hundred games. Hopefully, we can progress. Um, update on the old 2v2 as well, whilst we're here. Uh, currently 11th. Okay, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, I'd like to see your comments again. That'd be cool. Um, I've got another video coming up which is quite interesting. I use some different tactics and I do start to learn from some of my mistakes. Um, and I can't wait to make that video, it's really good. So, guys, I'll uh, catch you again.